haven't been in this room in a while. It's great to see all of you. Uh, good afternoon. The governor and I have been talking about this decision for a while, uh, of course, with our families. Uh, the governor with Lauren and his children, and I with Steve and our two children. When I started uh, serving with the Gov, uh, Bobby was a fifth grader and Judy a third grader. He's now a senior, and she is a sophomore in high school. And these are a difficult decision uh, for all of us, in part because these are great jobs. It's an honor uh, to be in this building and serving the people of this Commonwealth, and that makes it difficult to decide what to do next. Uh, having thought about this a lot, uh, we thought about the year and a half that we've lived through, thinking about the year ahead, and very much desire to focus our time and our energy on the communities and the people and the economic recovery that this state needs and deserves. Rather than campaigning and all of the difficulty that comes with uh, a task like that, having done this uh, several times ourselves, it's very important for the people of this Commonwealth to get our full attention, our energy, and our team's attention. And for me personally, it has been uh, a team effort all along, coming into office with the governor, serving as a team, and certainly wanting to finish strong as a team and give our communities and the people the ability to plug into the jobs they so desire by focusing on education, keeping our kids in school, and making sure that our communities and our small businesses and our economy fully recover from the ravages of the pandemic. It's a great experience working with the Gov, and he's very hands-on, as you know, and very focused on the, the details. And the details of the next year really matter for the future success of our Commonwealth, and it will be my pleasure to finish our term together. With that, I'd now like to turn it over to Governor Baker. So Lieutenant Governor pretty much said it all. All I would add is that it was, in fact, um, a very complicated and difficult decision for a number of reasons. Um, we both love the work, we love the people, and we love the experience that comes with this and the opportunity to help communities and to help people build bigger and stronger possibilities and opportunity is a big part of why we got into this in the first place. But that pandemic, which is now 20, 22 months along, has been an enormous challenge for the Commonwealth and for the people of Massachusetts. And I have said many times, and so has the Lieutenant Governor, that the people of this state brought their A game to this pandemic every single day and did remarkable things to help us work our way through it. But there is a ton of work that's left to be done as we come out of this pandemic to rebuild, recreate, reimagine many of the things that were busted during the course of all this. And we believe it's most important that we spend the next year focusing on that and not focusing on, let's call it the discourse, and that's probably an insult to the word discourse that comes with political campaigning. <laughs> 